submitted for your approval today. I offer myself. I'm going to talk about Filner, but I offer myself. I'm a bald-headed, short, fat, dumpy little man considered by most women just on appearance. Nothing else. I haven't done anything. I haven't said anything. I haven't done anything. A creep. A predator and a pervert, just on appearance, and I haven't even done anything, I haven't even said anything yet. We have to get a clarity on what is and what is not sexual harassment. There's too much obfuscation. There's too much misunderstanding as concerns this issue. Now, the latest thing to happen on Phil, unfortunately, in the Phil in the case, because he was powered out, because he was never given a chance to vindicate himself, to tell his story in open court, in an unbiased arena. He was powered out by lynch mob mentality and the incredible, insensitive stupidity of the talking heads. I'm talking about your San Diego talking heads. And the Los Angeles talking heads that I know of. I'm not going to mention any of them. Yes, I will. Hedgecock. Your uh, John and Ken. Your own uh, here. Uh, uh, these two idiots from KFMB, I think they are. These two. Jeff and Jer. Maniacs. Idiots. Who thrive on sensationalism. Mockery and ridicule and hold themselves above it. Filner is guilty of stupid behavior. Now Phil is about six feet tall, I'm five three, but both of us would be labeled creepy guy. When you're a creepy guy, the leash is very short. In Filner's case, of course he has a much better appearance than I am, and he has credibility I do not have. So Filner that's a sort of a right, and he has power. That's a sort of a right. Now, let's consider what Filner did. He swatted so he batted some women on the ass. What in the hell? Cool guys do this all the time and get away with it. Get into the woman's face. They have to, to stake their claim. Sooner or later, you're going to have to rub belly buttons and find out what you got going for yourself. It's as simple as that. Entertainers get away with this all the time, and they love it. I saw a Benny Hill comedy, which was superb, and they put Benny Hill, the great com English comedian, in pillory, and everybody was coming along doing all sorts of quote-unquote lewd and lascivious acts, and they put the switch to Benny and ben blamed it on Benny. He was this short, ugly guy, like me, in pillory, and everybody put the blame on him. We had an opportunity here to get an understanding of what bullying is all about, what sexual harassment is all about, what power manipulation is all about. And we had a chance to hear these women tell their sides of the story with Filner being able to answer back and have an opportunity in open court to vindicate himself. Filner certainly is guilty of stupid behavior predicated on his face. There's nothing else I got to say. I got to tell it like it is. Predicated on his face. Guilty already! Predicated on his face. Bullying. I understand that beast inside out. I can spot and smell a bullying process five miles away. I can pick up its scent. Intimidation power intimidations. My expertise is second to none. But it has to be identified. It has to be given a voice, a practical embodiment, and a clear, decisive definition. Now what they've done by powering this man, Mayor Filner, out without giving him a voice, without giving an opportunity to vindicate himself, the doors are now shut on a golden opportunity. If it had been me, 
I would have interrogated the hell out of those women. I would have interrogated the hell out of Phil. I would have interrogated the hell out of this Gloria, uh, all red, and this other uh, Todd, uh, G G Glor Gloria, Todd Gloria, and the uh, attorney, uh, city attorney this here, uh, 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 Goldsmith. Deadly enemies of Filner. For cause. Now, Filner is, has no personality. He doesn't know how to use power in a smart way. He didn't take care of those who, who were underneath him. If you want to rise, bend down and rise up those who are underneath you. He violated that principle. But it doesn't rise to the height of this lynch mob mentality. We need clarity. We need authentic inquiry. It's over with.